Good evening. My name is Trino El Nuno, and Todd Herpy and I will be talking about attrition. Attrition is the gradual mechanical loss of tooth structure due to mastication and or bruxing, and is described as grinding of the teeth against one another. Clinical symptoms of attrition may include the following, temporomandibular joint discomfort, patient dissatisfaction with decreased aesthetics of shortened crown, difficulties receiving restful sleep at night, and sensitivity to cold, hot, and sweet foods. In figure one, you can see a radiographic presentation of attrition. Note the decreased crown lengths. In figure two, you can also see the decreased crown lengths, this in the clinical image, and you can see where the patient has lost their vertical some of their vertical dimension of occlusion. Now we're going to talk about some characteristic clinical findings that you'll note with attrition. Uh, some of which being flattened cusps, shorter crowns, loss of vertical dimension of occlusion, wear facets, and exposed dentin. In more severe cases of attrition, the enamel may be completely ground away by the patient, which is exposing the dentin underneath. This may lead to some sensitivity. Dentin, once exposed, will wear more rapidly and be more prone to staining. Attrition may be localized to one tooth or it may affect many teeth, but is often located in the anterior. In figure six, you'll note some wear facets on the posterior teeth. Uh, these are typically associated with the functional cusps, but are not limited to them. In figure seven, you'll note a, the incisal surfaces or also the uh, on the premolars there, you'll note on the cusps a loss of enamel and exposed dentin. Uh, facial surfaces. Some of the radiographic interpretations uh, you may note is the key findings include the loss of the VDO of the crown and reduction in the size of the pulp chamber. The pulp chamber is reduced due to the body depositing tertiary dentin in response to the trauma caused by attrition. In more severe cases, the occlusal plane loses the natural curvature. The location of the ra on the radiograph is generalized and frequently affects the anterior teeth. The edge is well defined, the shape is linear, and the internal structure looks like that of the remaining tooth structure where you can note radiolucencies where the tooth has been worn away and there are radiopacities often near the pulp chamber where the tertiary dentin has been laid down. Other structures involved are frequently none, the number is multiple of multiple sites of involvement, and the size is a reduced inferior superior crown height. Four different interpretations that you could have are attrition, abrasion, abfraction, and erosion. Attrition is the tooth-to-tooth -tooth friction that leads to wear of the teeth. Now this is usually associated with a flattening of the plane of occlusion or the incisal surface of the teeth. Abrasion is the friction between a tooth and an outside agent, typically dentifrice. This is associated with multiple teeth, with lesions typically on the buccal surfaces due to excessive hard brushing. Erosion is tooth structure loss caused by chemical action. This is associated also with multiple teeth and tends to have a multi-surface even loss of tooth structure. The last is abfraction. Abfraction is a microscopic structural loss of tooth structure in areas of high stress concentration. This type of tooth structure, is, structure loss is typically found near the CEJ. Now, as you note in figure three, there's a person clenching his teeth, which actually leads to attrition of the uh, enamel surfaces of these teeth. In figure four, you'll note soda cans that contain acidic liquids in them, <laughs> and that may lead to erosion. Figure 5 is a gentleman who's brushing his teeth very vigorously, and that leads to abrasion. Now I'd like to talk about the treatment options. Treatment option 1 is no treatment, and that's if the patient isn't suffering any pain and isn't concerned with the aesthetics of their remaining teeth. Treatment 2 is to prescribe a dentrifice, such as uh, sensodyne that will block the dentinal tubules and help eliminate some sensitivity. The recommended option for many patients is treatment three and that's to eliminate the etiology if it can be isolated. For example, if a patient is in a high stress situation, have them undergo stress management or if they are a night grinder or bruxer, fabricate an orthotic for them. Treatment four is to do a uh, restorative treatment to restore the aesthetics and you can see that in figure eight where a patient has undergone full mouth reconstruction. This is our bibliography showing where we got some of our pictures. Thank you. Have a good day.